Hi guys, Redneck Computer Geek here. A little bit different than we usually do on this channel. Normally it's off-road lawn tractors and modifications and stuff like that. And uh, engine how-tos and things. But if you own a lawn tractor long enough, even a mud mower, you eventually get a lawn and garden cart. This is a standard Craftsman cart. They've been selling these for years. And unfortunately, the tires just are not that great. So today we're going to go over how to install a tube in a regular lawn and garden cart. You want to double check your tire size and in this case we're dealing with 4.8, 4.08 and we're just going to do a quick how to. The very first thing that we're going to do, I don't understand why people take the tires off. If you just take the cart and flip it right over you've got your work surface and everything works fine. So. First thing we're going to do, flip this thing over, get zoomed in a little, and show you a couple of things. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we're here with our tire on our lawn and garden cart with the cart flipped over in order to make it easy to work on. And a lot of these tires are actually on wheelbarrows. So the first thing we need to do is get the valve stem out of the way. So if we peel that back, we can take a knife give it a cut there we go pressure's out should just be able to pull that stem right out of there there all right so if yours is still holding you can set a screwdriver in and go back and forth with it down the tip And you're just taking a little bit at a time and as you heard there it let loose so there we go the whole tire is loose now one thing you're gonna have to do is that valve stem that we cut earlier you're gonna have to pull out the nub now this may end up actually in the bottom of the tire so you need to be aware of that from here we're gonna open up our slime container you'll find the URL for Amazon for this in my description of the video now pull it open, make sure that it lines up as the right size, now you want to try and get your valve stem side to line up with the valve stem hole. Now once that's in place, you can simply just pull it down around the rest of the room. And then from there, tuck it up inside of the tire. Now if you fold it back over on itself, you can fold it in under the tire easier. This is much nicer to do when you're facing towards the tire. So I'm going to put my shoulder in the way. Now if you fold it over and keep rotating the tire and pressing in, you can get it in under that lip while you pull up on one side. Now one thing I would like to note is that slime tubes are very thick and thus really hard to install sometimes. Now one thing you can do is you can pull up on the lip of the tire with a screwdriver but be very, very careful not to pinch your tube. It's very easy to accidentally puncture a hole in. And there we go. Took a bit of patience, but now it's in. You want to fluff it. Make sure that there's no bulge spot. Then we're going to start up the air compressor and give her a little juice. Now one thing I'll recommend right now is that you want to do this when your air compressor is really low on air so that you can fluff it, give it a little, and then fluff it. Give it a little more, 
and fluff it. And a little more to set it. And you're going to feel air coming from around the bead if your tire was still capable of semi holding air at the time. So you got to remember that. And yet again, keep fluffing it. That'll help. And you're just going to have to work it until it seals the entire rim in. But don't overdo it. Right about there. So, if you've got a bead like this one that refuses to settle, then you can take and grease it up um, using something like Dawn dish soap or any other form of lubricant, but Dawn dish soap is what I normally recommend. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drain some of this air and then set that in. And the easy way to do that is just to undo that, press that on. There, that let the bead go down. We're going to grab some Dawn Just Soap and go from there. There we go, so she's all lubed up. Let's try it again. Pop! There we go. So, tire is all nice and solid. Ready to go. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice day.